You're on. Why aren't you talking? Because I'm waiting for you. You don't have to wait on me. You never. Oh. Yeah. Cross my legs. You are coming. Yeah, I know. Go for it. Hello, everyone. And welcome to this week's show. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Philip. This is episode five. Or issue five. Whichever one. I want to say issue five up there. So, so this week we are talking about some, well, we'll give the coronavirus update, some books. We'll talk about some new books. Eh, we'll figure some stuff out, maybe. Um, and along the way, if you have any questions during this, let us know. Or after, just let us know and we'll sort of what figure it out. Or make Tommy answer it, one or the other. He doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah. I don't blame you. I don't really want to talk to me either. All right, so every week, in the last few weeks, we'll start off with our coronavirus update. So um, per governor guidelines, we are still technically opening, open and following uh, the guidelines of the governor. Now, per those guidelines, technically, you're not supposed to come in the store, but, <laughs> but we can be open. So we're still doing that, but we're mostly trying to do our curbside delivery, um, shipping, and we're still doing uh, local deliveries. Um, and we're also taking appointments. So if you're still not comfortable before or after hours, you can come in. I'm fidgety in this chair, worse than normal. You're fidgety, just sit. I'm trying, I'm trying. Please don't know with me. I don't know, we don't have time for that today. So we're still working through that whole process. So let us know if you need something and we'll be shipping out. Um, that we've uh, had a few people that's been taking advantage of shipping. So we've been shipping out books every day and we've made some deliveries for our local people. So that's working out pretty well. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in this is I know we've had some people drop off some CGC books for us to ship out. Um, during this, we have not sent anything down to CGC. Um, CGC did actually say that they were essential business in Florida as Florida has shut down and that has caused some uproar for them to even be open. So we're not really sure what's going on with that and right now we're not feeling real comfortable on sending stuff down there of when they would get it or even get it back with some of the shipping issues that's been going on. So if we have some of your books and you want them back, um, just let us know. If not, we'll keep them. Um, until it's safe again to ship down the CGC. But that's kind of an update there. Um, also, we want to remind everyone that we're doing the uh, art book for charity. So if you want to be involved with writing or um, some art in that book, um, try to get that to us by the 15th of okay. April. Yeah, thank you, it's still not March, it's now April. Uh, had that March thing. It's still March. We're just in the second month of it. Yeah. So it's so you have that to us by the 15th of April, where you can send it to us through our email or um, Facebook. Um, depending on what you have and what you want to do and want us to look at, just let us know. And that is pretty much everything that we have going on on the coronavirus deal. We're doing and a giveaway for this variant cover of Joker number one. Year of the Villain. To enter to win, just like and share this video and we will announce a winner during next week's show. And we'll remind you of that a couple of times during this show. Right? Deer, deer, deer. Yes, deer. All right, you wanna talk about books? So book club is still going on Next Saturday at 4 p.m., we will be sending out a Zoom link probably Thursday, just so it doesn't get lost. Um, oh, we'll be attaching it this afternoon in the Buck Club forum. So Yeah, but we'll keep reminding you and sending that link out. Um, we still have plenty of copies if you haven't yet picked up your copy of Once in Future Volume 1, um, or if you have the single issues, that's fine too. This is issues 1 through 6. Right. Right. Yep, and that's what we'll be doing, it'll one be the volume six. one. So yeah, we'll be discussing volume one. And if you want to join in on us uh, to get the link, you'll need to be a part of our um, 
RCX Book Club group. So you can find that and um, request to join, and we'll be doing that, like you said, next Saturday at 4. Yeah, if you go to the Facebook page and go to groups, it should be listed there. And then just to let everyone know, and I guess it's three weeks, so we're doing this next Saturday, and then in three weeks, we're actually doing another book club that's going to be on the 25th of April at 7 p.m., and we're doing the first uh, volume omnibus of The Boys. Mature Readers. So, yes, it's a Mature Reader book, so that's why we're kind of still doing it at um, 7 o'clock. Um, on the 25th, we will send out, as part of our book club, uh, group we will also have a zoom link for that but we won't be sending that out till probably a week prior for that book also right right good yeah, right yep. yep any questions about book club let us know next david said he enjoys book club he enjoys book club well good should be entertaining zooming zooming around yeah you can talk longer and you don't have to filter yourself as much well, Unless your kids are around. No, David has to filter himself. Not during the boys, though, but during uh, Once in Future, he does. Because uh, it will be actually recorded. Oh, yeah, we're going to post it on YouTube. We're going to so post it on YouTube. That, so. Make sure you wear pants. That's right. You be in Zoom, but make sure that you're decent so we can post it on YouTube as part of uh, our virtual experience here at Richmond Comics. Um. As, as we talked about last week, um, new single issue comics aren't coming in still at this time, but the industry is still working as a whole to work through all that. So in that, I'm gonna keep putting this up every week. So if you fill out previews and turn it in, it is still due on the 20th. So that hasn't changed. So if you got the new previews that came out last week, um, it needs to be filled out and sent back in to us by the 20th so we can do all those orders. Um, do all the April orders. And if you haven't come in to get your previews, please do so so you can still fill it out. Yep. <laughs> so we did get some new books in from Penguin Scholastic this week, so I'm just going to talk about those. And they come in Tuesday. Well, they're in, but they yeah, go right. on sale they on Tuesday. They go on Tuesday sale on Tuesday. So we have A Werewolf in Riverdale. It's an Archie horror. It's a prose novel. Kind of goes along with the other Riverdale books that they've been doing. Um, so Jughead is a werewolf. Yay! I guess it kind of goes along with the Jughead the Hunger series if you're into um, that comic series. Hope Project Animal Rescue by Alyssa Milano. This is the second book in the series. And... You mean a spaceship wrote that book? So Hope is learning about the local animal shelter and she, I don't know, I haven't read it yet, but <laughs> she is trying to save the animals in the animal shelter is what it sounds like. That's because it didn't come out till Tuesday. You can't read it. Anymore. I can read it now. It's right here. Catwad, Me 3, this is the third book in this series. Uh, it's about two crazy cats, I guess. Hmm. It says it's the greatest yet, so come check that out. And from Penguin, we have Megabat and Megabat Fancy Cat. This is book one and book two. These are illustrated prose novels. So there's bats and pigeons and cats and squirrels and all kinds of cute little illustrations in there. It's an itty bitty bat with mega personality. That's what it is? That's what it says. Mm. How cute. Last Kids on Earth, June's Wild Flight. So if you know what The Last Kids on Earth is, it's like a monster zombie apocalypse. So this is, I guess, based on the show or either the show no, is the show based, is based on, on this. Yeah. I didn't know if it was, you know, no. how they do that sometimes. No. Most shows are based on some kind of comic or a book, and same thing here. This is the... Yeah, this is another illustrated prose, and we have the rest of the series if this is something you're interested in. But that's the newest volume in the series. Starkadia Quest. 
is best based on the tabletop game and this is a graphic novel by IDW and the postman from space this looks super cute it's translated from French so that makes it even better and that is all we have new this week on sale on Tuesday. And Scooby-Doo and the Pirate Treasure did not show up for this week. It was supposed to be new for Tuesday, but we have not seen it show up yet. I thought it shipped, though. It, maybe it shipped, maybe. but we have not seen it yet. So We the, also ordered some other Scooby-Doo books, but since the movie's postponed, the books might be postponed. Yeah, we haven't heard about that yet on how some of those distributors are handling that. But these are all... All books that's new coming out this Tuesday. So if you're interested, let us know. And once again, just like everything else, we can ship or curbside pickup. Yeah, just you can just place your order through email, Facebook Messenger, comment on this video. Whatever. Yep, we'll get there. We'll yeah, get and there. if you have questions about prices or anything, let us know. Cool. Thank cool. you. Um, yeah, so we talked about this last week, and so we're going to talk about it again this week. So a lot of uh, um, people, subscribers, and our friends of the shop has asked about. So these are our Watson bucks. These are kind of like gift certificates that's designed for money amounts. And, you know, we like to thank a lot of people who's been purchasing them from us at the time. It's helping us out a lot. So if you're interested, um, just let us know. We've been mailing out a lot of these to a lot of subscribers and friends of uh, friends and family um, doing this so we kind of wanted to just put that out there that that's good for us here to uh, have that Anything else? No, we're good. All good Stanley card? Stanley card. Stanley autograph card. So this week we will be doing our Facebook live sale again on Tuesday at 7 and so this Tuesday we're going to be focusing on Silver Age Marvel books. So that's gonna be our main um, focus this week. We've already pulled out a bunch of good Silver Age stuff. Um, there, there may be a sale on some of these books, not just on sale. So uh, stay tuned for that. And of course, we'll have our Stan Lee card that we bring back every week um, until someone buys it from us. Ray wants it. Yeah, Ray, Ray, did, Ray, Ray did say he wants it, but you know. One day, one day. One day. You can't get his autograph anymore. What? Did you know that? No, I had no idea. Um, let's see here. Yep, Civil Age Marvel. And so we'll probably be every starting on Tuesdays, we'll probably be changing up some. So if we're doing Silver Age Marvel this week, we'll probably go to Silver Age DC the week after. So because we've got uh, plenty of that sitting here. And a lot of these are some of them are good copies, but a lot of them is good reading. Um, copies, so they're not as expensive as as some of the Silver Age books because they've been well loved. So I think you'll uh, enjoy some of the stuff that we have coming up there. Well, I did a few more story times, so be looking forward to that soon. That's it. That's all you got. And don't forget to enter to win this copy of the Voker. Voker. The Voker. <laughs> that Voker. The Joker variant cover. Like and share this post, and we'll announce next week during our show the winner. And we will ship it if you're not local. Right. Or even if you're local and you don't want to come get it, we'll ship it. And then, so I think last week we put out one story time, but we also did a Mad Libs reading last week that turned out to be pretty fun. Turned out to be pretty fun for us. I, it may have been painful for everyone else, but <laughs> so we may be doing that again. We're discussing on how we're going to do something like that again, or how we can change it, or if we just continue to be stupid like we were before. Yeah, if you have any other ideas for virtual fun, yeah, let us know. Um, we're trying all kind of different things to keep everyone engaged and continue to make this fun. We know that we're all trapped in certain locations sometimes and not able to get out so we're trying to make everything as fun as possible here so that's what we're working on
What? Oh. That slide? The slide with the... <laughs> Follow us on Instagram for book reviews. We don't have any today. Yeah, yes. We don't have any today because we were doing that. But once again, you can follow us on the Watson Review for our book reviews. We try to do a few a week. We're kind of slacking right now just because I uh, haven't been reading. Right. So with everything else going on, we've been a little lax in the reading. But we'll, we'll get back there. But that's the Watson Review is basically our review site that we'll crossover on so we'll have more review and we'll probably continue to do uh, one line reviews here next week we just had a bunch of stuff we wanted to talk about um, this week but coming up next we have a very exciting announcement so you want to do this first or go ahead and flip the screen, flip the screen. all right so next week Next week, we will be doing a virtual interview with Terry Moore. So, Terry Moore of Strangers in Paradise, um, Motor Girl, Rachel Rising, Echo, Echo, um, SIP 25, Five Years, which is his current book um, that's currently out now, and issue nine um, is actually here in the store. So, we do have issue nine from straight from um, Abstract Studios. So if you're a subscriber, it's already in your box, and we have a few extra copies for the rack as well. Right. So we can get, once again, we can get that sent out to your shift or whatever, but then um, next week when we start the show, we will actually begin with an um, interview with Terry um, on here. We don't know if Robin will be joining yet or not. She may, she may not. Um, but we do know Terry will be here doing this. We'll be doing a Zoom interview with Terry so Let's we're pretty we're pretty excited about that he's decided to be <laughs> to be our guinea pig um, for our interview section that we've been working on it's just taken us a little while to get it off the ground but I think we've got some interesting people coming up over the next few months that we've been working on trying to get here but um, from my perspective it's only right that Terry be I know I know. If you have any questions for Terry or Robin, you can let us know or whatever. Yep. We can have make sure those are asked during the interview. So you can uh, submit a question either on this video or just send it through uh, our Facebook um, Messenger for to the comic shop. And we're going to be gathering up those to ask him next week. And we'll probably have him on. It, the show will probably be a tad longer than normal. Because I think he'll be on for like a 30-minute interview, and then we'll kind of go into our normal um, show after that. So instead of, you know, a standard 15 to 20-minute show that we've been doing the last couple of weeks, um, it'll probably be a lot longer next week. But we're pretty excited um, about this one. we'll probably have another Terry Moore-related giveaway next week. That, that a is reminder, we're having, we're giving this away this week. So to enter to win this, you have to like our like and share our video. A video and then share, correct. And we'll announce next week. Yep. And then so that's pretty much it for this week. It was a pretty straightforward week for us. A um, couple of things, you know, just always. I know you're seeing it out there, but yeah. you know whether you shop here, or you shop somewhere else, and you're just watching us. Um, you know, support your local comic shop. They're still trying to do the best they can to get everything out to you. And, uh, you know, for all your reading and enjoyment of that. And we're all trying to work through this just like everyone else. And then to remind you, everything that we are actually do live, we're actually putting on YouTube. And we'll probably have some things starting to go up on YouTube, maybe before they even do, we even do Facebook Live. We're working Facebook through. Facebook Live sales are not... On YouTube? Right. Facebook Live sales are not but on everything YouTube. Everything else is on YouTube. Right. And we may start doing some YouTube specific content. We just haven't figured all that out yet. Yeah. Eh. So, eh. <laughs> we'll see. Sometimes the uh, your book readings show up on YouTube before Facebook. So. They always show up on YouTube before Facebook. Right. And so, I'm not doing that live. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. So, check out our uh, YouTube channel. We're starting to put more and more information out there on that. So with that, we will hope to see you on Tuesday for our Facebook Live sale. And then back here next Sunday for our Terry Moore interview. And then continue on with our weekend update.
Good. That's all? That's all? That's all you got? That's all. I think that's all I got. I don't have any more notes over here at all. So, do you have anything else? And hopefully there's more new books coming out the week after next as well. We'll keep you posted. Giveaways. Giveaways. <laughs> Enter to win. We'll have more and more themed giveaways um, as the weeks go on in this. So, and if you have any questions or any suggestions, once again, either you know, shoot us a Facebook message and we'll get with you. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week or Tuesday first, hopefully. <laughs>